Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. We last left off. Fucking Farah shot me. And we did this, you know, this warehouse area here. Ooh, there's a, there's a sand thing over there I need to... Fuck. I drink this water. Get up there, please. I don't know how he fucking ran up that, but I'm not going to question it any further. Yeah, that seems better. That's a useless cutscene. What the fuck was that? God damn, she can jump far. Holy shit. Superhuman jumping skills. this. Well, I don't remember how to do it. I just remember the scenery. There's that fucking noise again. That's not going to do anything. We already got full full sand. Maybe I should have saved it. Hey, guys. What the fuck is that noise? Is that those flying creatures? Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Can you hear it? I hope I'm not the only one that can hear that. Anything up here? Is this like useless? Let's see. Ah, oh, shit. No. There's like, there's nothing up here at all. It's really weird. Do you think you could climb that wall? It's too high. Wait here. I'll see if I can find a way over the wall. Or was that the right way? <laughs> I guess that was. God damn it, I feel stupid now. Uh...
shit. No. Whoa. Oh, that's it. Come here. Come here, I don't want to hurt you. A slightly worried expression on his face there. Okay, so we need to get this box. Looks like. Look, a crack. fabled menagerie of Azad, the Sultan's pride and joy. It had been one of the wonders of the world. As a child, I dreamed of it and longed to see it with my own eyes. Now it was a place of terror, an abandoned ruin laid waste by the sands of time. Here I am! Ah, fuck. Here I am. Fucking hell. Fucking shit camera angle. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Fucking hell. God damn it, would you get on the ladder? Get on the ladder. There you go, thank you. All right, sorted.
I'll start the story from here next time. What does this do? Ah. If you have believed the rest of my tale until now, perhaps you will also believe me when I tell you that as we made our way through the moonlit ruins, I began to feel strangely drawn to the girl by his side. My reason told me to distrust her, for she had good cause to hate her, yet she had proven herself a loyal companion. And, I confess, I was grateful for the company of someone who, like me, was flesh and blood. Water, please. What can't you reach? Oh. Are you all right? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, well, we did have another tank to get. My mistake. Wonderful. Hey, there's no door. Stand on that pressure plate, will you? Oh boy, one of these. Fucking bastard. Just clipped it. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? Oh. Fuck it. I think I need it. I think I know what I need to do. I don't know. Can't you crawl through a crack or something? Come on, put your weapon away. Thank you. Grab that, yes.
Oh, that's all right. That's all right. No, what the fuck am I meant to do then? So the key there is you have to fucking walk over them. Walk over the spikes instead of run. Fucking hell. That's a bit bullshitty, but you know. What are you gonna do? start the story from here next time well all right i'm gonna leave the episode off here it's the end of the episode thanks for watching do you wish me to leave before finishing my story